Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to combine Doodly with Microsoft Word. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Did you know that you could add animated Doodly files into Microsoft Word? Ah, the possibilities. In fact, I'm going to show you three different ways to do it. So today we're going to pretend that I'm a high school teacher and I'm preparing a handout for my students. And I would like to liven it up with a doodly video or a doodly graphic. For example, here is a standard little handout that I might hand out to my students, right? And what I'm thinking right here, where it's this week's homework, instead of having it just written out, we can make a doodly video. So I did take the liberty of creating something already in Doodly because the point isn't how to create the video in Doodly, it's how to get the video from Doodly into Word. So the three ways are we can have a graphic, we could make a GIF file, an animated GIF or GIF if you prefer, or we could actually embed the video itself. Let's start with the easy one, the graphic. So if you just want the image, you go down here, right click, save as image, and you choose a resolution. Let's say 720 is fine. And I'm going to put it on my desktop and JPEG is fine for this purpose. Click continue. Go to your Word document and drag and drop your image into it. And that's it. So I told you that one's the easy one. Let's go ahead and delete our text. And we can delete our header. So already that looks a little bit nicer. Now, what if we wanted to have the motion? Maybe we really want to get their attention with it. We could make an animated GIF file. And here's how to do that. So to create an animated GIF, first thing you're going to do is export your video file. And I'm going to make it 720 resolution, should be fine. And I'm just going to hit export it. Now that my video has been exported, I want you to go to easygif.com. There are other file converters that you can use. This one I've used multiple times, so that's what I'm recommending today. So you want to make sure you're on video to GIF, and then you just want to bring your file in, let it upload. Okay, so just go through and click convert to GIF. And this is fine, so I'm going to go ahead and save it. Now let's go to Microsoft Word. I'm going to go to Insert, Object, From File. This is going to be in my downloads. Here it is. Insert. Okay, so now we have an animated GIF. And this is just going to play automatically. There's no audio because it's a GIF, it's an image file. Now the third option is to take that video file and import it into our Word document. Now while I could take that same video that I had exported earlier and import it, there's going to be a little problem. Let me show you show preview. The very first image becomes the thumbnail. And so this might confuse people if they just see this in the Word document like that. So what I would like to do is add another scene and I'm going to put it at the beginning and I'm going to put this play button here into the scene. So let's make it a little bit more obvious to our people that they need to click it. We could even type in the words, click me, okay? or play or whatever. Let's say double click the play button below. And just for fun, I have a Greek circle here that I had imported a long time ago. And since we're doing it on Greek mythology, why not? Let's just make it fun. 
Now, I don't want this to be a long drawing scene. In fact, it doesn't, it's not going to draw at all. We just want it to be our thumbnail. So put everything at zero. So it's a half a second scene. And even then we're going to change that. So go to scene settings, turn your exit animation off. Okay, so now it's a quarter of a second long. So if you play the video, it's just gonna immediately go here, okay? But we get this thumbnail for our placeholder, I guess, in the uh, Microsoft Word document. So let's go ahead and export this. And again, I think 720 resolution is gonna be just fine for a Word document. Now, because this is video, it will support a voiceover if you wanted to add a voiceover. It will also be a much larger file for Microsoft Word to handle. So your Microsoft Word file size is gonna get much larger than it would with either the animated GIF file or the image. So keep that in mind. You want these to be pretty short and sweet to keep your file size manageable. Okay, now that that's exported, let's bring it into Microsoft Word. So I'm just gonna add it below down here and we can just drag and drop it. You could also do that same insert object technique. But here it is. And now you'll see that it just looks like a static image. Okay, this looks like a static image. You wouldn't know to click it to do anything, right? And then likewise, this if, if we had that thumbnail image before without the thing, it would just like an image. So you wouldn't no, so that's why I did the double click to play. So let's go ahead and play it. And there we have it. And if you'd like, you can format it just like you would format any other picture. So I'm hitting the picture format button. And if we wanted to add a little border and a shadow to it, you could certainly do that. And there you have it. That's three different ways that you can bring Doodly into a Microsoft Word document. I hope this gives you some ideas. Thank you for watching.